What's up guys, currently I'm standing right in front of our four unit that we purchased three years ago in 2020. This four unit has completely changed our lives and we're about to head in, but first. I think it's important to start off by telling you that the reason that house hacking real estate changed our lives is because it added another form of income outside of our daily jobs. Growing up, I was not wealthy whatsoever. I grew up with a single mother and I didn't have anyone in my life that could teach me about investing or financial independence. Most importantly though, schools growing up did not teach you anything about managing your finances, taxes, or adding another form of income through investing. They simply pushed the agenda that you have to get good grades in order to get into a good college, you'd have to pull out a lot of debt in order to pay for that college education, and then you would go on to get a stable job that has yearly pay increases and work that until you're 65, and at which that point you can finally retire and enjoy your life. But at that point, you can't do a lot of the things that you wish you could. Okay, okay, rant's over. The reason I bring that up is that I just wish more people were educated on investing in other sources of income rather than just pushing the agenda of having to get a secure, stable job, and that's it. Having said all that, I was lucky enough to be introduced to real estate investing at the young age of 21 years old. Fast forward to 2020 when my wife and I were 23 years old, we ended up purchasing the four unit apartment complex that I'll be taking you through in this video. And we ended up house hacking it, meaning that we moved into one of the units and rented out the other three units. And the idea is that the three units would pay you rent and that income would offset all of the expenses you have on that property. Essentially, you would live for free but it actually worked out even better. We found this property off market, got discounted price on it, and we were able to not only live there for free, but we got paid $800 every single month to live for free in our own house. Not only was the rent from the other three units covering all of our expenses and reserves put away on, on, on that property, at the same time, they were also paying down the mortgage for us and they were putting $800 into our pocket every single month. And the best part is the reason I'm telling you this is because you can do this as well by utilizing the FHA 3.5% down loan to where you put such little money down on an investment property. And after one year of living in it, you can move out, rent the unit that you were occupying, and then it could be a full on rental property for you. But let's head back to the four units so that we can break down some more benefits and some more numbers on our four unit apartment complex. All right guys, so we are inside of one of the units right now. This is the very top floor. So third floor apartment, it's a two bedroom, one bath. It was currently rented out when we first purchased it three years ago for about $1,100. We just got a lease signed. Uh, there's a turnover right now. That's why we're able to get in here. But um, we just got a lease signed for $1,375. So that's a large increase from when we first bought it to now. And you might be thinking to yourself, man, how low are these ceilings right now? But uh, but I'm six foot nine. Ceilings are about seven feet. It's the third floor, so it is a smaller, uh, smaller ceiling. It makes the apartment feel a little bit smaller, but uh, but still high demand in this area, and it's kept up pretty well. So as you can see, as we go into the kitchen, we have luxury vinyl plank on the floor, scratch proof, waterproof. It's great to put into your apartments. And then also we have newer cabinetry right here. We have new countertops as well. Uh, have a little stove that's put over here. And, uh, and this is an all-in-one washer dryer. This was the only machine we could fit up the stairs because it's in the third floor and it got really tight. So I would rather my tenants have laundry than not have laundry at all. So I uh, really wanted to put that in there for them. So that's why this is here. Otherwise, I'd much rather have a stackable up here. Now, as we head out through the rest of this apartment, it's carpet throughout, as you can see. Have the bathroom on in here. Got a nice over there. Yep, got a nice little bathroom. Got a nice little note from the last tenants. <laughs> but yeah, carpet throughout. I mean, it's a two bedroom, one bath. Got your one bedroom here. Got some closet space going on. And then as you come over here, you got another bedroom. Once again, two windows, closet space right here. And then this is your living room right here. Now, the reason this property has changed our lives is because 
when we were living here, yes, we were getting $800, but since then we have moved out of the property. So now this is a straight rental property, meaning that all four units are occupied by renters and they're paying us monthly. But just as a rental property, all the income coming in, if you were to deduct all of the expenses, the reserves we put away, we are making about $1,900 of pure cash flow when this is all said and done every single month, unless there's some type of extremely large CapEx item. Now, this is no way, shape, or form me trying to brag. If you know me, that's not at all. The reason I say this is because you can literally do this as well. All you have to do is sacrifice one year of house hacking, being a little uncomfortable. Then you can move out and rent out the unit that you are occupying and you could capitalize on a rental property with such little money down because we also utilize the FHA three and a half percent down. Another reason it's changing our lives is because the house that we moved into, our monthly mortgage every single month is $1,600. So with the cash flow, not only is this four unit getting paid for every single month, the mortgage and all the expenses, but all the expenses on the house we're currently living in also, once again, is getting paid for by this property. And the reason being, we did not go splurge. We did not go try to buy the biggest house. We got a very small, honestly, house, single family house to where we could feel more comfortable. It's all we needed is just me and my wife and my son. So we did not splurge on that. We're living below our means. Now this one property is paying not only for itself and cash flowing every single month, but it's also paying for the mortgage on our primary house. If you like this kind of video where I walk through my properties, please let me know down in the comments below. That way I can make more videos if this intrigues you. I appreciate all the support I've been getting on this channel and I will see you guys in the next one. Happy investing.